before I continue, I want to tell you about this barbecue that's happening on the 4th of July. They are hosting a barbecue, so please go out and support them. Again, Saturday, 4th of July from 10 to 4. And this is what is on the menu. You have chicken, fish, pork, and pigtail. You also would have to go with that fries, noodles, fried rice, mashed potato, macaroni pie, and potato salad. Also, fresh salad. You have three sides with your meat selection and $10 for any extra sides. Drinks is also available on sale. WhatsApp them at this number. Place your order today. And don't forget, they also have delivery available. Now let's continue with today's recipe. Welcome back again. Now let's get into the ingredients. All right, so let's begin. Now I would strongly suggest that you don't use this vegetable if it's more than a week old in your refrigerator because it's tend to be very soft and not as solid and fresh. And I would also suggest if you don't like to work with knives, use a potato peeler if you want to get it as thinly as possible. I did not use a, a peeler because I don't like to use that. And I would normally just use a knife because I really don't like to work with peelers. It just stresses me out a lot. Maybe I haven't found the right one yet. But before we continue, let us go into the ingredients and also this is the health benefits it's a very healthy vegetable and it is so versatile all right as i said eat it fresh not old so the ingredients tomato curry freshly ground peppercorn some cumin salt onion and as i said please use this vegetable fresh you buy it in your market come home use it for the most two days after three four days no it becomes too soft and you don't remove the seed but i guess if you want to you can so now we're going to add the cumin and some oil and some olive oil and some onion i'm going to saute that once the onion has once the onion has become translucent i'm going to add some curry powder and then i am now going to add the bottle gourd to this and I am going to make sure and coat it properly with the curry and the cumin. Make sure it's properly well coated. And then I am going to start to add the other ingredients like the tomato and stuff. So, and I did not add any water to this, eh? Absolutely not because this has a lot of water. So I did not add any water. So I'm going to add the whole tomato and I am going to add some grind seasoning and some the black pepper some of the black pepper to your desired taste all the seasoning to your desired taste and i'm going to add some salt don't add too much so at least when it almost dry down you can taste and see if you want to adjust and don't forget the link for my coolest water bottle at the bottom so i'm going to take apart some of my leaves once this has come to a boil i'm going to wash and put some leaves into this pot i am not going to cut up the leaves because i don't want it to actually melt away in this pot but i want to have pieces of this spinach in this pot so i want to leave them whole but make sure and wash them properly and again don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click the bell for notifications so i am going to leave this and let it simmer down and as you can see I didn't add any water at all to this pot and it made its own water along with the spinach and at this point I taste to see if it needed anything and everything was just enough I didn't need anything to this and that is how easily I made my curry bottle gourd with spinach and it was very healthy and delicious vegan friendly you could have this with anything you would like vegan or not this is a very versatile dish you can have it with any and everything and it's very delicious once seasoned properly so i hope you give it a try and you yes you who are watching thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to give me some support have a blessed day